reputation that I saw when I rotated as a medical student was that everybody had a lot of fun, um, everybody got along well, and everybody was really happy coming to work, and that has been true since the day I started. We're looking for residents that are passionate about being the very best physician they can and are passionate about providing good care for their patients. That's really what it all boils down to is providing good care and, and making your patients know that you care. My three big interests are public health, wilderness medicine, and international medicine. And uh, when I went here, they were one of the people who were most willing to work with me to let me go overseas. Through their four years of training, I have no doubt that they are going to see everything that is out there in the world of medicine. The acute myocardial infarction, the heart attack, uh, we have a system here where we get them to the cath lab within 90 minutes and they learn what our role is to make sure everybody is on board with the protocol that is set. They'll take care of the acute stroke victim with thrombolytic therapy, which is making national news at this point in time. They'll take care of broken bones, will reduce fractures, dislocations, they will take care of everything. And so day in and day out, we're working with each other, whether in the intensive care unit, oftentimes the intensive care unit, that unit's being run by emergency medicine residents, whether it's a senior year and a, and a first year resident working together, and sometimes even one of the attendings staffing the critical care unit is also one of the emergency physicians who's doubly trained in intensive care and emergency medicine. You get respect from like the floor nurses that they call you and, and they ask you questions and they like really take what you say as meaning something and they don't kind of go over your head and go to the attending to ask you know the same question to make sure that you're right so I think we get a lot of respect and I think that um, we're a pretty welcome program. I've worked in a number of emergency departments across the United States and it seems like many of them treat a distinct subset of patients whether it be a very urban center or a very rural center and I've worked in both but what's nice about St. Luke's is we manage the we see all those kind of problems. It's an incredibly busy uh, emergency department. We have, I think, 80,000 patients a year or so, and we have quite a few residents, but at least the systems are set up where it runs quite efficiently. We do see a ton of variety, and I think that if that's what you're looking for, that, that you shouldn't exclude like a community hospital, because we actually, and we get to do it all because we're the, the first people you know, with our hands on the patient. The experiences that we've had here prepare us to be able to handle and run an emergency department on our own when we graduate. Many of the residents that we've had in the past go to programs where they don't have any backup, when they're, they're the only person on when a patient comes in the door. And from everybody that I've talked to who's graduated here in the past, everyone has been ready for it. In the residency program, Scott in particular and everyone supported me all the way to be able to go to Africa and do emergency medicine in Africa for a month. And I'm working with Scott and some other folks to make sure that uh, those students are allowed opportunities to travel to underserved countries to do emergency medicine and public health. And so uh, hopefully, hopefully this will be one of the strengths of this program in the future. I know Dr. Melanson is uh, very passionate about that as well. We do a lot of research at St. Luke's. Uh, research is key. It's a key to the future of medicine. It's a key to the future of all programs. And we are fortunate to have a core faculty that enjoys research, is willing to do research. And when you talk to someone and, and you say you're from here, they're, they know where it is and, and they know what kind of people come out of here. Uh, St. Luke's has prepared me to be, a, be what I feel is going to be a great physician and be able to take care of people and, and treat them. Uh, appropriately and, and take care of any issue that, that faces me. I have many friends who are doing emergency medicine programs all over the country and you know in some way and they're very different but I feel like none of them have done more intubations than I have or put in more central lines and uh, it's impressive it's from a sort of a community hospital. Uh, we have exposure to an array of trauma uh, as well as very high acuity patients and our volume is excellent. Um, they'll have the opportunity to do essentially whatever they want here. The best way to, to learn how to be an emergency physician is not to read about it or hear about it or watch somebody else do it, but to actually do it yourself. And that's what our residents have the opportunity to do with us staffing them, being there with them. Uh, I think really when it comes down to it, the, the best thing about St. Luke's are the people. Uh, it's not something that you can replicate or that you can get anywhere else. When they leave this department, they can walk into any, and I stress, any emergency department in this country or this world and be prepared for whatever walks through that door or is carried through that door.